What are you uh, coming up with on the next four years? We're very concerned about a world war. Oh, really? And I, and I don't say that lightly. If you, this is, you know, they how they say history repeats itself. Yeah. History's repeating itself. The crash of 1929, the Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, world war. The panic of 08, the Great Depression. There's a depression going on. In this country, depending on whose numbers you're looking at, there's a, a site to go to. And you know the motto of the Trends Journal, taught to me by my dear father, man, so rest in peace. He always told me, any time I'd re- be repeating something that everybody else was saying, he'd say to me in Italian, Papagallo, parrot, stop repeating what everyone else is saying and think for yourself. So what I'm saying is this is the way I see it, and I always encourage people, think for yourself. And what we're looking at, again, there's a website called John William Shadow Stats, you look at his numbers, he's looking at unemployment in the United States ranging from anywhere between 16 and 22 percent. But go beyond the United States. There's a depression in Spain, a depression in Greece, a depression in Portugal, depression in Ireland, depression throughout a lot of Eastern Europe. So the Great Depression, and then it was followed by currency wars. There's a currency war going on. All of this lowering of interest rates, record low interest rates, is devaluing the currency so the exporters could export more product. Now you hear from Brazil, from Guido Montega, their finance minister, yelling, there's a currency war going on. China's devaluing. The United States, Europe, they're all debasing their currencies so they could export more. Trade wars. Listen to the presidential reality show. Romney and Obama now are talking trade wars with China, and Obama's bragging about how tough they're getting on them. After that, it's world war. Is there a world war? It's going on now. Go around the world. There's a war in Yemen, a war in Bahrain. There's a war heating up in Kuwait as we speak. Tens of thousands of people are taking to the streets. There's a war in Libya. There's a war in Syria. Oh, now Syria and Turkey are going at it. Whoops, now it's seeped into Lebanon. Go back over to Europe. Millions of people taking to the streets. They've lost everything. People have no jobs. A lot of them have no food or shelter. So we are, as we see it, on the brink of the first great war of the 21st century and the most important debate of all the three debates that I watched, which, again, you know, none of them amounted to anything. To me, it was an empty suit versus stuffed shirt. When you listen to their foreign policy, it's more of the same and worse. They are going to drag us, as we see it, the next four years is world war.